Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about Swift collections. So for Swift collections, we have three collections. One is array, other one is set, and then we have dictionary. So let's talk about each of these in details. So arrays is an ordered collection of values. So array is like a list where you can have all the values in ordered format. Whereas set is unordered collection of unique values. So in set, you cannot have duplicates. In array, you can have duplicate values and the list will always be ordered. But in set, you cannot have duplicate values, but the list will not be ordered. It will be unordered list. Plus the benefit with set is that set confirms to hashable protocol. So in Swift, set performance is much better than array. So the time complexity of set for inserting a new value or removing a new value is much better than array. And then we have dictionary. Dictionary is a key value pair of unordered collection, right? So the keys in dictionary also confirms to hashable protocol. And that is why dictionary is also preferred when it comes to performance. If you worry about the order of your collection, then you should go for array. But if you're not worried about the order of collection and you don't want to have duplicates in your collection, then you should go for set. And if you want to store key value pair, then you should go for dictionary. So let's look more in details in each of these. So this is how we initialize arrays. So let's say you have to create an array of numbers. So you can create like var numbers and then this is how you can initialize it. Then let's say you want to initialize it with some default values. So we have this shopping list array and which is initialized with some default values of eggs and milks. And then let's say you want to initialize it with some default repeating values. So we have this three doubles. And as you can see over here, I can say array and then repeating 0.0, .0 count three. And this will give us an array with three 0, .0 numbers in it. So this is how you can initialize an array. Now, how do you add a new number in array? You can use this function called append. So in this numbers array, I will append new number that is three. And now the numbers array will contain one value, which is three. Now appending a value, the time complexity of appending a new value in an array is only O of 1 because you are appending at the end of the array. So there is no changes in the array. So that is why it's O of 1. There are multiple ways you can append a new value in an array. So this is one way. You can also use this plus equal sign and then add as many values as you want in the format of new array. So it is like adding two arrays together. So this is a new array which we are adding with an existing array. So shopping list is an existing existing array and then we created a new array which only contains one value baking powder and then we just use this plus equal sign to add this into the existing array. Now shopping list contains three items so eggs, milks and then this baking powder and this is also O of 1 because we just added at the end of the array. Whereas if you want to insert a new value in an existing array then you will be using this insert function. You can give the value and then add at whatever index you want to insert that value and then this will be inserted in the array. So maple syrup will be inserted at index zero in our shopping list. So shopping list will now contain four items and at first index we will have maple syrup. Now time complexity for this insert function will be O of n because to insert at index zero you will have to move the existing value at index zero and make it at index one. The value at index one will be moved to index two and the value at index two will be moved to index three. So all this will take O of end time. Similarly, to remove, you, you can use this remove function with at and whatever index you want to remove at. And then that will also will take O of end time complexity only for the same reason because you will have to change the index of all the existing arrays. If you want to remove the value at first and last index, then you can use remove first and remove last as well. These are the two functions which we have. I have only written remove last, but you can use remove first as well. For remove first, the time complexity will be O of n because if you remove the first element in an index, you will have to change all the indexes of other values in your array. But for remove last, the time complexity will be O of 1 only because you will not be required to change any indices and you just remove the last element from the array. So remove last will take O of 1, I have written it wrong, O of 1 and remove first will take O of n. Now, how do we iterate over an array? So you can simply write this for item in shopping list and this will simply 
print all the items available in the shopping list since we removed the last element in our array that is why we have only two items and if you want to iterate over your array with the index value then you can use this enumerated function so shopping list dot enumerated will return you the index and the value of each item available in your shopping list and then you can print like item index plus one and value so item one will be egg and item two will be milk so that was it with array. Let's look into set. So for initializing a set, it's very simple. You just use this keyword set and then you can define which type of set it is. Does it accept string or does it accept character? So for character, this letter set will only accept characters, whereas this favorite genre's set of string will only accept strings. It is not needed to always define the type of the set. If you don't define the type of the set, it will infer it automatically because because all the values in the set is of type string so it will understand that this favorite genre set is of type string only now how do we add insert and remove values to insert a new value in a set you will just use this function insert and we have now inserted new value of zaz so now this set contains four items and the insert function only takes o of one time complexity because as i said set conforms to hashable protocol and also it is an unordered collection so we we don't care where this zaz will go and fit into this list and the order is not a problem over here so that is why time complexity would be o of one only similarly to remove an item from a set you can just simply use this remove function and that will remove the particular value from the set and that is also in o of one time complexity next let's look into dictionary so dictionary as i said it's a key value pair so you initialize dictionary in such a way that you have to define both key and value the key will always be unique in dictionary and as i said it does conform to hashable protocol so the performance is pretty good with dictionary as well because it conforms to hashable protocol so this is how you initialize a dictionary where name of integers and then int and string so int over here this one is the key and then string would be the values and this is an empty dictionary now let's say you want to initialize a dictionary with some default values so you can do so like this so let's say var airport string string so we are using airport code as the key and then airport name as the value so yyz is the code for toronto pearson and dub is code for dublin now how do i update add or remove values in a dictionary so to add a new value in dictionary all you have to do let's say in this airports uh, dictionary we are adding new value for london so for london the airport code is LHR so we'll say airport LHR equals to London so it will add a new value in this dictionary with key LHR and value as London so now in the airport dictionary we have three items one is YYZ Toronto Pearson other one is DUB Dublin and the third one is LHR London and the time complexity for adding a new key value pair in dictionary is O of 1 only now if you want to update an existing value in dictionary so let's say DUB is assigned with Dublin if you want to update it with Dublin airport so with an existing dictionary key you will just assign a new value and this will update the value of dub key with dublin airport now how do i remove an existing key from a dictionary all you have to do is just assign it with nil and it will be removed and all these operations takes o of one time complexity and that is why dictionary is much better when you want to use a collection with better performance now how do we iterate over a dictionary it's very simple as we do it for array or set it's the same but with dictionary you would be returned the key and value pair so for airport code and airport name both in airports you can print airport code and airport name so this would be the key and this would be the value so this is how you iterate over a dictionary now what if you want to iterate over keys and values only you can do that as well so for airport code in airports dot keys and this will print all the airport codes in this for loop and if you want to print all the airport values then for airport name in airport dot values and this will print all the airport names so this is how we iterate over a dictionary so i think this is it this is this is good enough to start with the swift collection i hope you like this video thank you so much bye bye